Chronic neglect, child abuse, or a sudden separation from parents. All situations that put a child's stress response system into overdrive. Dr. Jack Shankoff is a pediatrician who studies early childhood adversity and health. For starters, here's what happens to kids when stress hormones like cortisol stay elevated for a long time. They go from making you more alert to actually disrupting brain circuits, uh, particularly in parts of the brain that are developing in young children. Dr. Shankoff says toxic stress over a long period can also disrupt the immune system. In one study, adults were asked if they'd experienced one or more of 10 types of childhood maltreatment or household dysfunction. These types of adverse childhood experiences without adequate support from a caregiving adult can cause toxic stress. And the study found that those adults with more adverse childhood experiences had a greater likelihood of having more health problems as adults, like obesity, heart disease, cancer, alcoholism, and depression. Earlier this year, Dr. Shankoff testified before Congress about the U.S. border separations based on multiple studies on toxic stress. There's no question that as a group, these children will have problems in health, both physical health and mental health and development in their lives that they would not have had if this not had been done to them. Dr. Shankoff says kids need reassurance and a sense of safety from a parent or trusted caregiver to start reversing the damage. There's nothing, there's no medicine, there's no treatment program, there's no intervention strategy that comes close to just simply reuniting children with their parents. I'm Jessica Sanchez reporting.